Hey guys, it's Magic Dave here again. I'm just showing off uh, my new progress in this uh, world project. Um, so last in the last video I talked about physically based shaders and I haven't really done too much with all of that. I did find a few more little bugs, tweaked a few things, but um, yeah, all of that is much the same. Um, the other things I've worked on, I've added that FPS counter up in the corner there. Um, so that's basically just I wanted to get fonts um, working and text rendering working um, because I'm going to need that relatively soon with um, adding gameplay and sort of user interface and stuff. Um, so that's just using a bitmap font. Um, I just basically create a texture atlas using um, an app called uh, Glyph Designer, uh, which makes it really easy. And then, yeah, I just sort of uh, found some C code that loads up the um, generated files. Um, the sort of information about all the kerning info per character and stuff and then kind of spits that out into a into an OpenGL um, list of vertices and stuff which I can then render um, so that's all good uh, what else have I done um, I've changed the camera so that it's a bit more sort of realistic to what I want uh, you know what it's gonna be like when you're playing the game so you you've got gravity now so if I just let it you fall you can fall um, you can kind of launch yourself off um, hills and jump around it's kind of fun um, and yeah it just gives a much much better feel for for what the scale of everything is you know I mean these boxes when you're looking at them before probably looked quite small but actually uh, they've got a radius of um, about four meters so that's an eight meter by eight, eight meter by eight meter cube um, and yeah they, you just sort of get more of a feel for the scale um, and also just how long it would take for you to just run over there <laughs> like over to that mountain over there and it does take a very long time but that's okay um, because I'm gonna make it so that you can go you know really fast um, so that's another thing I did is I um, I tried rendering a little ship around the uh, player because that's I mentioned that in the last video I wanted to perhaps um, I guess as part of the oculus rift sort of support you know VR um, you, you don't want to be kind of I don't know you need to be able to change the direction you're looking independently of where your head is actually looking um, and so that's kind of a tricky problem um, just just how the controls work with that like I think, everyone, I think everyone's sort of trying to figure out how that's all going to work so I thought a ship might be a nice transitional way of doing that but it really didn't work it made me feel like I wasn't in the world anymore I was just kind of I don't know it really just really just made me feel like I wasn't part of the world um, and that that sucked so so I gave up on that and so now I'm thinking that you're going to basically be like you're going to have an exoskeleton kind of thing like um you're going to be flying around with rocket boots um because you know, you've got to be overpowered you've got to be far more powerful than a human because you're going to take forever to just walk up this hill you know and that's going to be boring so yeah um and there's oh yeah, and i added these rocks on the cliffs which made this crazy face right at the spawn area <laughs> funny and added sand um, I'm gonna I'm really looking forward to working on the climate um, models and stuff and all the different biomes um, but that's all kind of icing on the cake I need to get gameplay happening first so that's what I've been focusing on um, so anyway uh, what I've the biggest thing that I've probably added is physics um, so all these cubes now I, um, I implemented the the bullet physics library um, it, it was actually quite easy surprisingly um, but yeah it's kind of it's kind of basic but anyway I'll get these cubes and things falling so if I just hit this we're now simulating physics um, yes yeah, so that's quite cool isn't it um, we're, we're dipping in frame rate there um, that's I'm just using a debug version of the physics library and I've got some definite optimizations I can do but for now it's sort of it's not too bad um, and you can push the things around and they sort of roll around um, yeah and it's sort of it's good to see that my matrix math is um, sort of holding up <laughs> you're still being able to see the, you know they're getting lit correctly and um, re reflections are sort of correct and um, yeah and you can push them around with the with the player there's um, the player won't get hit by them like I'm basically just 
extremely strong at the moment um, you know it's all kind of early stages but um, yeah and also you can really see the issues with the reflections like the the reflections like that is just wrong <laughs> so there's, there's some things that are sort of showing up to do with the environment mapping that I'm using and I did a bit more research into what you know the method that I'm using and its limitations and yeah basically large flat surfaces doesn't really work that well so I may have to um, add uh, a different technique for rendering the water in particular and I don't know if you just saw but oh there yeah, one of those those spheres are just falling off the edge because that's the edge of where I'm actually creating terrain geometry which is not very far right now um, I'll just tweak that as we go there's no point in simulating you know the I mean I can't just load up the entire world into the bullet physics um, engine because it's so it's changing constantly as you're moving around and that would just be too much just you know moving all those polygons back and forth in and out of the collision in, um, engine so there's no point in doing that uh, I've just got to figure out how far to go and that's dependent on what the game plan ends up being so I'll work on that later um yeah so I think that's kind of about it I I used um SDL image to load up the images that sort of went relatively smoothly I've got that little uh, that little marker in the middle now um, to sh sort of show sort of a crosshairs I guess so um, where I'm heading from here is basically uh, I just made it so I'm detecting what you're looking at um, that was part of the reason why I needed to get the um, physics engine in you know there's not gonna be balls and stuff rolling around this is just testing but um, yeah I, I need to be able to see what I'm looking at so I need to be able to walk up to a tree and know that I'm looking at that tree and I could implement that all myself but uh, with a physics engine it's easy because it's got all of that stuff and it can do it a lot, a lot faster than I'll be able to do it because it's got oak trees or whatever you know fancy ways of storing everything so that it can quickly find them um, and so yeah I'll be able to like look at a look at um, a triangle and isolate which one that is and then affect it so that's kind of what I want to do next is sort of maybe start deforming the terrain you know as the player or like ch maybe chopping down trees you know that kind of stuff so um, that's kind of the plan so yeah um, it's, it's looking pretty good I'm pretty um, quite excited about where this is heading now and, and where I'm at because I'm, I'm sort of you know I'm in the world I'm a player now I'm not just I'm not just um, flying around looking at stuff um, and I am interacting <laughs> I'm interacting with these giant cubes that will never be in the game in the end but you know it's good there's some interactivity um, I guess oh what yeah one thing I showed my um, three-year-old son this um, game because uh, he just uh, came into the, my office and just wanted to sort of have a look at it. it looked interesting and so I said oh look there's you know here's a beach and he said right, can we throw some stones because that's what he likes um, he likes doing at the beach throwing stones into the water I'm like no but you really should be able to shouldn't you so I don't know that's kind of high on the list is just to have some rocks here that you can pick up and biff into the sea because <laughs> Cause it'd be cool um you know three-year-olds they're onto it so i'm gonna leave it there and um yeah we'll see if see if i'm throwing rocks into the sea by the next uh, video and uh, until then we'll catch you next time